This last part's pretty simple as long as you get a few hits in and just move out of the way. There we go. Suck it, engine. God. Over an hour and a half to get this warp room done. People can get the entire game done quicker than that. <sighs> half an hour of that was Cold Heart Crash. Other parts of it were just silly. What is your problem, Bandicoot? I will not ask you again to bring me the crystals. Obtain the remaining five crystals, Crash, and bring them to me. All right, God. Well, that was an adventure. Anyway, yeah, we will finish this game off next time. Thank you all for watching. I don't know how much of this I'm editing, but no matter, I appreciate your patience. See you next time. Hello everybody, Reaper Hunter 23 here welcoming you back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2. Off screen, I went and got the gems for digging it. Ugh. Anyway, now we can go move on to the fifth and final warp row. Unfortunately, I know in the last warp room I encountered two of the worst levels in the game. Digging it in cold hard crash and burning. Anyway, this level also gives me headaches. I'm not a fan of this one. There are a couple of reasons for that. Mostly the way that the level is structured and the fact that there are there is a death route with boxes in it. I'll get to the explanation in a minute. That one's there and readily available. I'm not really a big fan of these uh, space future themed levels that Crash Bandicoot does from here and up until the Wrath of Cortex. Like, Crash 3 has them, Wrath of Cortex has them, this game has them. I don't like any of them. Not a fan. I almost like ran off the scenery there. Thankfully though, this level is the only one that's really a headache in this warp room. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I don't know how well, it, or I don't know if you noticed it, but I heard like the uh, other little smasher thing um, go up and down when the two that I was trying to get under like were just staying still. I felt like game froze. I almost ran into that metro once. Ooh. I lost my train of thought because of the smasher distraction. What was I saying before that? I gotta be real careful not to like slide into those so, uh, in the middle, or one of them will get me. Alright, anyway, the best thing to do here is because there are boxes in this warp or in this death path, but you see, normally if you die when on your way to the death route, it goes away. But 
Well, actually, I don't even know if you have to go into the death root and die for that to stay there after you pass it. But I just do that because I know it works then. <laughs> and I'm not gonna, like, jeopardize my ability to complete this level further. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, those shrink rays are one of the worst parts of this level besides its agitating structure. Oh no, I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> oh, but it doesn't screw me over. I'm gonna be like distracted this entire level because I was going to say something earlier. Got distracted by the smashers and hearing the other smasher. And I didn't say it. And now I can't remember what I was gonna say and it's bothering me. It's terrible. Oh wow. I evaded that shrink ray thing pretty well. I wasn't expecting to. Oh. I hate those jerks. I was smashing into me. Yeah. Scream your agonizing screams. Oh! I think what I was saying was that this is the only level that's not really a headache, or this is the only level that really is a headache in this warp room. Yeah. Because this one's annoying and stuff and kind of hard. Just to get... The other ones are annoying, but they're not like terrible for. I didn't need to go this far. I hate it when I do that. They're annoying and such, but. They're not like terrible to the point of being. Like, the pack, or the jetpack levels are annoying because they, uh, control poor, you know, because they're hard. All that way for one box. And then the other, um, space level here isn't that bad. Alright, now unfortunately I'm probably not going to be able to, like, get past this. Well, I'll be darn. Okay. Um, what I was gonna say is that obstacle is usually really annoying. Because it's like, uh, wow, that went smoother than I thought. I'm gonna die right before the checkpoint. In this level. In this death path. Because normally that's like three different shrink rays buttons that trigger the same thing. So it's really hard to dodge. Make sure you back up after you hit that dude. Or you're gonna get caught in the nitro crossfire there. Oh, I forgot these guys don't change. Oh, I thought I was going to get hit by the electric tip part of the... Wow. I am doing way better than the other times I tried recording this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
I really hope. I wonder if my voice inflection was enough for. Oh, ah. Those are very non specific noises. Darn it! Yeah, these shrink rays are easily one of the worst parts of the level. I hate them. Darn it! Ah, okay. Ah, this is dumb. Whatever. At the very least, I should be getting an Aki Lock or something. How? Oh. There we go. Oh, I hope that wasn't. Yeah, it was too soon. Okay. He should be some help. There we go. Oh. Close. All right. That was relatively painless. Was, yeah, that was. That was all right. Cool. Way better than the last warp room so far. The hardest level, and it's not even that bad. Here I go. Gonna lose 15 lives on the rocket. I can feel it. Yeah, I don't like these levels, but their music is something very memorable. Like I said, my favorite songs are in the game are the sewer level and the uh, time is fucking black. Tiny's boss game at the top here. I love both of those. So this was probably coming third. And when I think about this game, this is, I probably think about this before I think about those actually. I just have to like those more. Yeah, I'd think about the title song. You know the one that plays at the beginning of the, before you get into the game. I think about that one, I think about the warp room theme, and then I think about this. You know, for the longest time I didn't know that pushing circle could send you back. Words, I thought that you could only go forward. It amuses me how just the slightest touch, it seems, will set off these boxes. Oh, you see that dude mirroring me in the distance? Those guys are jerks. I hate their faces. Must get Wampas. Oh, whatever. Don't need Wampas. Something cool about these little rooms that you end up falling into is that the uh, background... I like the background effect. Now I'm gonna get... Yeah. Oh, no I'm not. But I like the way the background like will turn with the rotation. Did I just hit a checkpoint box? Yeah, I did. Okay. 
I was not being mindful of that at all. Alright. Oh, I got stuck. Oh, God. There we go. Alright. Should I get this guy before I get the boxes? Yeah. I'll do that. But yeah, I like the way the background outside of the little space tube turns with the uh, turning of the tube. Or I guess it'd be the background is what's turning. I don't know if it. Whatever, I'm not a physicist. Oh, been hosed by that twice now. Get out of here. Oh. Nope, oh, nope. I found the downturn of the recording session. <laughs> Don't know when to strike. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I died twice at the very last obstacle. Get out of here. And then again, right before the very last obstacle. The penultimate obstacle. Get out of here. Alright. up my phone thinking that it was the uh, drink that I had laying around here somewhere. Alright, that requires better explanation. I didn't think, once I touched the phone, I didn't think it was the drink. I thought I felt something like touching me, and I thought it was a drink, not my phone. Yeah, this is another blackout basement level. <laughs> Now that I'm done talking about mistakes I've made in regards to what is laying next to me. Oh, now I get to talk about mistakes I've made in regards to how poorly I play this game. Anyway, this is another blackout basement level uh, with a death root. Oh, I don't remember the best method of doing this. I think what we want to do is go here. And then, oh, that was not good. Let's see if I can seemingly choose this. Oh, yes. No! Well, oh, that sucked. I was doing so good. Okay, I think we want to go here first. There are two boxes in this deck. At the very end, yeah, they do this. It's not quite as offensive as digging it. Well, it might be just as annoying as digging it, but it's not like to the degree that 
It's not to the degree of irritation that digging it is. I don't know how I... Oh! You see, there was one point in time where I fell into the trap. Actually, no, I have the gem. I could just walk backwards from where I was going. Never mind. <laughs> 